Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, this year, we're also going to defend against attempts to repeal children's rights in the legal justice system. Um, we heard some of this about this from uh, Dana earlier, um, and other speakers touched on this. So in 2002, the Maryland General Assembly passed the Child Interrogation Protection Act. The law requires that before a police officer can conduct a, custo a custodial interrogation of a child, their parent or guardian must be notified. An attorney must be consulted. This is crucial because studies clearly show that children waive their Miranda rights at a rate of 90% and make false confessions at a higher rate than adults. The purpose of the law is to protect children from being coerced into giving false confessions by ensuring that they receive an age and developmentally appropriate explanation of their Miranda rights. And the Office of the Public Defender has a hotline 24-7 where law enforcement can call um, and uh, children can speak directly with an attorney at any time during the day or night. Um, law enforcement and prosecutors have consistently opposed this law. They have uh, mischaracterized the state of crime by children in Maryland and have called for the rollback of SEPA and other important reforms designed to protect children's due process rights. Um, during the 2024 legislative session, we will defend against these attacks and any attempts to repeal or water down the law. Um, and just as a uh, 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 more context on this. Um, these laws were passed in 2022, but they had been in development for a long time. Right? There was a state commission on, um, on juvenile issues, and these laws are based on evidence-based practice, um, brain science um, of youth, and you know a lot of work went into this. And we don't want to see a knee-jerk reaction, and you know these laws being undermined, uh, undermined. Um, and you know, make a U-turn on on the way we're addressing public safety, and that's another another point here is that this is really also about public safety, as we have seen over decades that the punitive approach to um, um, managing children um, and addressing youth uh, crime is not through punitive measures. It does not increase public safety. So we want to. Uh, continue pushing towards improving the system of care and support for children um, and keeping these, these laws in place. Thank you.